Osho said that the mechanism of propaganda is repetition. If you hear something over and over again, often enough, you integrate it as truth, whether it's true or not. And this is how we've come to define the ways that our educational institutions, our religions, and our government try to tell us how it is. And much of what they've taught us is lies. So the, one of the most powerful ways that you can recondition yourself, let your deep self come up and allow the mind to be the slave in your life and your heart to be the master, is through the tool of repetition. So I encourage you to spend some time and define for yourself what's important to you in your life and to find very brief and simple ways to write those things down into a concise statement something you can say in a sentence or two and then find a way to read that sentence feeling powerful when you do lovingly powerful when you read that and to read it frequently it's a way of moving beyond the old, tired conditioning, the indoctrination, dogma. To find your own truth and to live it and to trust it. Part of the propaganda in life and society has been that we find things that have value only outside of ourselves. We've never really been trained, most of us, in how to find the joy, happiness, calm, uh, loving serenity that is to be found when one is willing to be in touch with the will and the wisdom of the heart. If you're tuned into the ego is who you think you are, then you set yourself up on a, on a treadmill that is just self-destructive and aimless and like a limbo. Like that space between heaven and hell where there's nothing really happening or where it's just all chaos. You know, you're not burning in hell yet, but you're sure not on the beach either. So I'd ask you to consider today getting some real clarity on really what you feel is important in your life and then find ways to remind yourself of that frequently maybe make it your desktop on your computer the background for it or put it up on your refrigerator or on your desk Repetition is a mechanism of reconditioning yourself, and it's a powerful tool. And this is what I'd ask you to contemplate.